Welcome to our, last, to our second class, second sessions about HTML. How you have already created some of the basic information in your page, but now you want to format your page with a notepad so that you can allow something present in the people's eyes and what people can understand in this. It is not hard what is you require to use. It's now you have to use two programs. You have to use the two programs. This first program you need to use is about a uh, notepad and you have to use the web page preview for this. In this web page preview, you're gonna use uh, Mozilla Firefox and the other side one you can use for the source. We can use this notepad here as our source. So it means everything you're gonna do here, to here in this web browser and you have to do it to, uh, to do it when you are using a uh, source html then it can be previewed in this second one called mozilla firefox let's start now with that one you can come here for example you do little by little so they can understand more easier way let's start with this one for example here we have the heading here you can put something called heading appearance you just put h1 this heading appearance as you can see here uh, for this heading appearance here you can see here uh, this heading appearance we have h1 up to h6 and the one thing you come to realize that when you put h1 it is bigger in size and when you put h6 it become smaller in size in this case just come you put at the start of your sentence welcome and now at the end of your sentence here you can just come put you close h1 that is the opening tag this is the opening tag for this this is an opening tag for h1 heading appearance and now here is the closing tag for that the difference is just a slash and that one you put in the front of the text, the one you put at the end of your sentence. This is what the main difference is all about. Once you put like that one now, you can come here, you save like that. Once you go to file save, then from there, I can come here, I need to put the background color for this. I can just come here, I click this background color for, for this one, and just come, I click there, I put space. And you can put BG color. Uh, for this one, it represents BG background color. Then I can put is equals and I put quotes and I put, for example, color gold. And just come here, I close. This now is the coding for uh, background uh, color for the entire page. That is how you need to put the coding for this inside the body. Just put space BG color. Is equals in course you put color gold or any other color as you wish. Click go to file, then you click save. Let's look those two things you have done. Uh, for this one, just click there and now come you click refresh. You can see now my heading is a bigger in size, bold, and now the color you can see for the page have turned to gold. That is how you can see it have changed from that. Uh, let me go, go to back to the notepad here and now change once more things it means you can what you need to do is to minimize those two main programs don't close them but you just minimize so that anytime you want it you can just switch to the next program uh, as for this one now i can come here i need to put that one for example i need to put underline for this one so you can just come i put u for underline uh, for this one I need to put bold B for bold and now I can come for this one and I come and close them both of them here just come close U for underline and the other one I can just close B for bold once I close those two main ones then from there I can just press enter there and I put a line break this is the code for the line break uh, this one is a code for other line and you have to close it at the end here and you have this one uh, this one is for bold 
and you have to close it here but for the line breaks you no need for you to close just right the way it is there here i can just come and put paragraphing that is the paragraphing and just put another one here for paragraphing i put another one for paragraphing the same those are all those are just an open tag and now you come here uh, you close these ones and now you save so that you can see those changes of the bold uh, underline paragraphing and line break as per the way you have seen me I have put all this tag in this as you can see the one I'm underlining those are the main my main tag I put there as those ones I have saved there once you save you just come to page then you click refresh once you come to refresh here you can see now you can see some of the changes now the sentence here it means this one has been underlined and bold uh, the other one you can see now the paragraphing from one paragraph to another you can see there is a space between something else I can see I can see how you can work with that one it means right now you can just come here in this sentence of mine uh, I see how I can just array them in a good way I can just come here I create a table here for this table of mine here I put table row. Once I put the table row now, I can come here. I put now the table data for this one, and then where it is adding here, as you can see, it is adding somewhere here. Let's come. I put my table data. Just close it there. Once I close there, I can just open the, the other one there. Uh, I close it somewhere here. my table there uh, we have this one still this one is a bit bigger I can size I can just try to uh, to reduce it in a bit of size you can just work the way it is there but you can just come here and press enter for those big sentences as you can see so that it can become a bit uh, smaller in size uh, as you go down you can come here and now close the last one if my wish is there now to close my entire just come and close the, uh, the table data I don't forget you opened here while you are beginning you open the table and we have the table row so you have to come here when you are adding just close table row and close your table like that as you close all those now it means this one here you, st you have to close them as the way you opened them here as you started as for this one you can see now this my table uh, this uh, my table row but in one table row I have the first table data we have the second one we have now this one as uh, the third one and now we have the last one it means now all those uh, now the table the table data let's see like that one then I start now saving my work see how it will be this is before uh, once I have not refreshed you can see how it is look like but now I can just right click here and just come I refresh or press F5 now you can see my page have divided into three main columns the first one we have the second one and we have the third one column so that the three main columns as you can see my pinch have started now aligning itself from one to another as you can see now it is something which is looking more smart in this as i go down now i can just come here uh, in this one i try to put a different color for this it means for this one i can just come here I put now from there I put BG color uh, black I 
the background color black and because the content is black it means I have to put the font color which is of different color I have to put for example uh, color white I just come I put color white so that it can go together with color black for this content so this is the, now the background color for that black and you have the font color which is white once I pull like that one I have to close my white color at the end of this here because that is where the end of my last sentence I just come here I close the word font only don't close the font color just close font for this one you can see this is a closing tag for font and this now the opening tag for font that is how the difference are about save and come refresh here yes right click and refresh you can see that it's now black background with now white color in that content that's how you can try to uh, to put a background of a small section in your web page let me move now to the second column and that column respectively so that you can see the difference for this uh, I can just come here and uh, can just put in the table data here I just put space bg color and bear in mind that when you are putting color don't put you we use the uh, state English where we don't require you for this it means now I can come I put color red for this I put red then I can come for the content I can just come I put font color white and uh, because of time and remember you use that same same coding here you can just come here you highlight this entire coding you right click you copy and you come where you want to put there and you just come you right click and you paste that one I have no problem you can just work on that one to make sure that you are working at uh, you are spending extra time to do more coding for this uh, this this one I can just come here I put a different color I can just put now for uh, this one for, for this one I can just put PG color then I put now green so I put green there I can just come here for justification here I just come I put font color and now I can just come I put green for then we have uh, put lead now I can put now we have white I can just come I put just white and because there's a just a, a bay title of uh, the soon I can just come uh, add the line and I can use italized it means this for italic I can just come here I close italic and I close underline for this it means when you are closing don't forget to put a backslash for that one you can put now line break for this let me see now that one because I put in there don't forget that at the end of this of this paragraph you require to come and do what and pull and close now the font color that you you want and you could come here and I close my font only there then I come I click file I click save as I click save just come here and you see before it is I refresh but once I come here right click and I do refresh or reload current page you can see now you have seen a difference of that you can see a flag uh, uh, a color for the flag which is black red and green I have used for that one to design in my website with a different color you can see it look wow in this case now I can just continue putting more information for this one for example here the top uh, here the top this content here 
I need this equal this content for example this one to appear uh, in a different font so you can understand more about the fonts only also just come here you need to come here it is just in the top of your entire page here it means you need to come here well it says it here about the philosophy we have about the philosophy here and just come and start it there then I come I put font color font color you can just come I put uh, that is another way you can put the color then you can put uh, for example that code for 99 uh, three three you can put zero zero and now that one you can just come and put is equals and of course like that one that's the font color in this font color here you can put comma then you put phase is equals in quotes and now come you put for example monotype called silver uh, then you put even the size you can put your desired size for example I just come here and I put the size I'm desired of for example uh, 4 once I put that 4 you can just come here uh, those ones as you can see here we have this coding here it means uh, this is the font color this is the font face and you have the size this is the font size up to here so as you can see here this is the main coding up to there this is how you can see the coding and you need to come here why you want to close it up to here I just come I close only font and then you save your work don't forget always keep saving your work as you move on then now I can can see you can see previous the way it was but once I come here I refresh here you can see I've changed from the color have changed it have changed the it have changed the color it have changed the, the size they have changed everything so uh, that one i can just come in case the size i need to add i can still add a little bit of size to be for example uh, seven and i see at least like that and i save and i come here and then i refresh for that you can see seven size it is more size which is bigger for that content that is how you can see now the content is big in size as you can see the font size for this one is bigger than the normal sentence for this it means i have tried to put bigger size for seven uh, you can see maybe you don't see foot five and i save changes that is how you format your content uh, for that you can see it's a bit now smaller in size that is the difference on how you can format how you can dif put the different colors for this one and kill this color you can see that it's not visible because of the background you can come here and change this coding here to be uh, from this one you can just zero zero and put ff to be a bit brighter and you click save then you come and refresh these ones you have seen now the change of the color because you have changed the coding for that hexagon colors in this case now we have formatted our pages now we need to put the marquee for this one as you can see this page here this is our heading and because you need to look more attractive I need to come here in the notepad uh, for this one here and I put a coding for this marquee. This marquee, I can just come I put like that one there and I come I close here 
a queue. So once you come here, you have to close this macu. Uh, once you close this macu for this one, this is an closing tag for macu, and this is an open tag for macu. Remember, all of them are in the this heading. Uh, save and come here you refresh you refresh and you can see now the page the content of that heading is now moving from right to left side of the page you can see it's now moving like that and you can see it will move and move until you see the last sentence it will remain blank for this one so in case of moving like that as well, you can start now moving to the last same direction. You can just put a behavior for that. This behavior, you can just come here at the front, then you can come in this MacQ, add space, and you put a certain behavior. For example, we have in quotes, alternate. And I close the quotes. I save. And now I come, I refresh, and I put that one now. You can see, you see there is a difference. It is moving from left to right. Left to right is how it is moving that page, that heading for the, in that web page. And so you put now that MacQ uh, behavior for that one. And now from there, I need now to put bullets and numbering in my page so that some of the those things you need to list them they should appear in a well manner for example you have the objective for, of the program i need to put them in form of what bullets uh, so that can be well understood so it means in this case i can just come here where i need to start there and just come i put my ordered list just come i put ordered list uh in this one ordered list here this is ol for ordered list uh, once you put the ordered list there uh, then you can put space you can put type z equals in the quotes and then you can come here and you put for example i once you put like that on i and from there you can just come and press enter and I put listing come come here I put listing continue like that and putting listing at the beginning of the sentence just put listing as you proceed down just press and put listing until to the end of your last sentence when you are put when you are through with that one don't forget to close as the way you started here you can see you started with of uh, uh ordered list for this one the type i so just come here you close you close listing then once you close listing you can come you close ordered list this is how you close this it is o l for ordered list this is l i for listing this should take note on that this for for closing and you have this one for opening and you can see now that we have been listed out there uh, in this case now you can just come here then the others here which is now here down I, can, I may choose now to put uh, something called bullets for design solutions here I can just put uh, bullets or maybe this one for the for this one for career perspectives here or over for this one uh, I can just come and I see maybe it's good for this career graduates for this one analysis here I can just come here I put in another way so that it can appear in form of uh, bullets for this or this instead of commas. I just come here and put now my 
unordered list ul for another list and then you can put now your listing once you put your listing there where you want now to appear in form of listing just come in place like that so that it can appear in form of point form so that it can appear in form of point form like those uh, then as you can come you put for these ones uh, and that is how they appear in form of that uh, once I'm through with this now I may choose now to close to close those uh, last list for that one uh, which now maybe it is adding up here adding up here so for this one I can just come here and just put a rain break then once you put a rain break you can just come here close my listing and I close my unordered list this is now the ordered list another list and you can see I have opened here my unordered list for bullets for that ones. On this design solutions here, I may choose to show you how to put another types of macu uh, direction. Is equals in quotes. Can put, for example, right. Then where they are adding for those solutions for example they are adding here in this uh, last sentence here you can just come here I close the mark I close the mark and uh, then now you can see uh, once I close the mark here I can just come I click save and you see how my page will all look like just refresh and now you can see now my page is having some of the content whereby you can see now we have this is now the macu this is now the macu you can see they are moving from right to left from left to right that's how they are moving you can see we have bullets here which is an ordered list and we have numbering which is the same as ordered list in using HTML language those are ordered list an ordered list with my Q direction as you can see they are being advertised down there that's how you can create that uh, page in a very easy way you can organize it well and now with this one I can change to utilize this space here and I put now for a certain maybe for a picture I can just put a picture here so that this content uh, this one and this content now can appear and I can put a photo either between this content so that they can utilize the space here and I put one of the photo that they can stand but before that let me put the last here we have something called uh, called the uh, terms and conditions I can just come here I put a certain table uh, with the table border uh, table border is equals in the quotes you put uh, for example six eh? we have a border color That one I can put red, and then you close that one. And now, once you close that one, you come and put table row, then you put table head. So, that once you put like that one, now you can come right this website is. Powered, powered by so 
facem web experts facem web experts you can put and copy that is for copyright 2018 comma all rights reserved all right reserved and now you can come you close the table head you close the table room and you close the table for that then you can come here you put your content here centered of the page center and once you put it there centered you come here it is where it is adding where it is adding there I can just come here I put Center. Once I put that on, I can just come here and save. Once I save, then I can come here and I do refresh. As you do refresh, you can just come here and see now your copyright for this, which is now this website is powered by such a um, web experts copyright 2018 already served you can come here you change the color if you don't wish to put red you can just come and put another color for example blue then if you need the background color for that one i can just come click here i put space i put bg color is equals in quotes i put white I put close that quotes then from there I come I click file save like that means this will be the background color for this content and this one will be for the border save and now come here and do refresh now you can see my page how it look like we have this content this website is powered by uh is powered by such a web expert copy 2018 or is served for that one that is how you get now this uh, main concept of that page and you can put down here you can put a paragraphing there and now you put another paragraphing and between the two paragraph there you can come you put now menu menu for this one you can just come you put home you can put that one and now you can put about us you can put uh, we have about design solutions we have testimonials then we have downloads and we have register Stroke uh, Rogin, then we have last contact contact us for that one. I must be a little like them. I like that. Those are can be now my main menu. For that one, I was still I can still put uh, my my head i can just put my my page heading here for example h1 
I just pull like that on the H1 and I come here I close my H1 and I come I try to save I come I click there and I refresh once I refresh now you can see here the down here we have these ones which act as my main bottom menu for that I can try to reduce that one to H3 let look more precise more in my page then I can come here I put for example a hyperlink reference whereby I'll come and link uh, my my page there and I close my hyperlink reference so it will do the same a hyperlink reference then you come here you close a hyperlink reference just pull like that one until to the end that one will enable you to come and link uh, any page you designed you have to come and link here at the bottom of your page so that you can be quick access between in your page from one page to another you can have quick easier way of linking just have quick easier way of linking so what you need to do you just come here you highlight this hyperlink reference this is a hyperlink reference and just hit click your copy and that's here you come and click downloads and from there you come and close A uh, you can come and open that one and you do the same to the list so that all of them you can see now they will be linked they will be so that they are being linked together here those and you can help have good link like that one which will enable you to have easy access of that from one page to another without any single problem in case you want now to show more about the page for example here I just come I click there I add example I need title is in the quotes space you can just come here I put run more about such um, web experts so in this case I come I click file I click save these are now my bottom menu I have tried to click to create all this up to there you can see all those on their bottom menu for my page click file click save and let me see when I come here I refresh here and I can just click there and now you can see those they are being linked as you can see those are the bottom main menu for those ones as you can see they are being linked one thing you realize that because this one I put a content for title you can see this title there is a difference between this as you point there you see there is a content at the bottom learn more about such a web experts that's how you create menus and you have to come and link those menu with the content for example if I need to link this I need to come here I just click for this about us uh, in the t at the top there you can just come you copy that URL then from there you come click the, on this one and click where we have 
this content for about us as a hyperlink here let's right click between those two codes and paste automatically you will enable you to come here and you save then you see that uh, automatically that page will be linked without no problem once you click there automatically open this page but when you are in another program just click and go to that direct page i'll add there for today's lessons join us to the third lesson of html and learn more about html how to search pictures and how to work more about different codings and different tags in html thank you for joining us we are such a kenya learn more about us in tutorials tutorial downloads and subscribe for more